Hello everybody, Excalibur here, and I have got a special product. Um, I was trolling around on the um, on Twitter and I ran into Dogmite Games and their Kickstarter, and they've got these special like dice and gaming boxes that you can get from them, and a lot of different types. Um, so they were asking for reviewers, and here I am. I said eh, I'd be happy to do a video review. And, well, they sent me their box. One of them. You hear some jittering in there. That's because there are dice inside. And uh, the thing has a pretty cool spider design. See it on their Kickstarter page. You'll see that link in their description. And uh, the description of the video. And uh, also there's another design on the back here. It's a little moved. Um, now, these things... They have a bunch of different um, sculpts. I think they say like uh, 25 um, that they do. And they're like monsters and weapons. Excuse me, fonts and stuff like that. And uh, you can mix and match tops and bottoms. Uh, they're put together with uh, neodymium magnets, it feels. It's a really tight um, magnetic enclosure here. Um, you can have the same design on both sides if you want, or different designs. And uh, they sent me one here that's, uh, I'm not sure what type of wood this is. Um, they didn't tell me exactly what it is, but the stain is very nice. Um, you can definitely smell that stain on there. It, it's a pretty nice box, actually. Um, I, I think I, um, there was a, an, a little bit of a sharp point here that uh, gave me a splinter. Um, on one of my hands, I had to pull it out the other night, but uh, um, that's the only downfall I've seen with this so far. Is uh, one of these had a little splinter; it wasn't sanded off just right. But for the most part, it's really smooth. Uh, you can you can tell it's been done um, by hand, all the staining and all that, and um, it's very well constructed. I can't see any seams. It looks like they have. Uh, um, used a router to route it out and then they uh, um, milled out and carved out all the little bits of this and sanded it down. So far pretty happy with the box. I haven't used it in a gaming situation yet. Um, there are also uh, different interior options. This one is just a big cavity. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but you can get ones that have like dice and coins and stuff like that. Um, you should see some pictures pop up on the screen because I'm going to go onto the Kickstarter and grab a couple of those so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, now, the basic, which I think is like this. Um, it's got like basic sculpts and stuff like that in it. It's running like $35 and they're going to have some high-end ones and some contests and stuff like that too. So uh, if you go for the, um, the higher ones with uh, where you can tell them what stain you want with sculpts and everything it's gonna go like up to 60 bucks and that's starting that depends on how complicated it is so let's go ahead and open this up let me get it in frame there we go ah there we are now you can see this finish here it looks like they just uh, did a design um, you can see the four magnets all along the edges there this can hold quite a few dice as you can see, I've got a bunch of spin down counters and some life counter dice over there. So, it's here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And I have fit 16, 18 dice in here. You could probably do more uh, depending on the size of your dice. If you had smaller D20s, like regular D20s are smaller than the spin down counters. Ooh. And, by the way, we'll just attach it just like that. It, it's not strong enough to attach like that, unfortunately. That would have been really nice if it had like a hinge or something. But, uh, it doesn't. These things are pretty, pretty, pretty powerful magnets. I can almost hold that together like this. But, uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's a little bit too long to do that. Um, but this is a pretty nice sized cavity. This closes up pretty nicely. The only thing is, uh, the first time I opened and closed it, I pinched my finger right here. But generally, only a doofus like me who has about the the uh, grace of a bull swan that's been drunk and 
slipped a Mickey and let loose in a, a marble store, probably, you know. I'm um, very clumsy, but um, overall, this is a very high quality box. Um, definitely, if you're playing a lot of D&D or other role playing games, you got a miniature, you can get the box that has a miniature here and then dice and coins and stuff like that. You could probably get one that has a place for a pencil, your dice, and your miniature, so you have your gaming thing there. Um, the main thing I am I would probably use this for is for carrying my uh, life dice, life counters, and stuff like that. Um, right now, I have one of these little plastic jars, and it's a real pain in the butt to get everything out of there. I'm not going to do an infomercial thing where I throw the dice everywhere, because I don't really want to pick up all those dice. But you can see those dice could probably fit very nicely in here. Um, I generally only use um, a couple of uh, spin down counters. And if you don't know what a spin down counter is, um, it starts off with 20. In this case, it's got uh, um, Avison um, symbol for Magic the Gathering. And as you can see, you can spin it down. It goes 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And that's how it works. Um, it is not randomized. This is a random D20, where if you look, you've got 20 on one side and then a 1 on the other. And if you put your fingers on two sides, they should add up to 21. So here's 15 and 6. And if we go to 16, we should have 5 on the opposite side. And we do. And so on and so forth, just like that. <coughs> um, I... I like the smell of wood product. Um, this is definitely a really nice, nice sturdy box. It is not flexible in the least. You cannot bend it by hand anyway. Um, so I don't think it's going to, you know, like break in your bag or anything like that. I'm going to drop it on my floor. That was a good three feet or so, and it didn't even budge. Let's try it up from right here. You can see it. That's getting shot. There we go. That opened it. So, unless you're really trying to drop it or something like that, sliding it off of a desk. Oops! It fell. Oh no. It's actually going to stay closed. So, um, I generally don't like dropping things, but this is a case that's meant to hold dice, and of course, it, I'll pick those up later. Of course, um, when it was purposely let loose at about four feet or so, onto a, it was a carpeted floor, by the way, um, it, it, it popped open, and that's, that's pretty good. That, generally, it's going to slip when it's less than that, and it's going to be at a table. Um, I can see a gap through here. Um, right through there you'll see that there's a little gap. You can sort of see my face through it. And that is not from dropping it. That's part of the construction, I think. Looks like uh, they're not perfectly flat. They've got a little bit of give and take in there. Um, one thing I would have liked to have seen is the magnets here had they been recessed in one and popped out on the other so that they sort of lock in place instead of being they can slip back and forth if they lock down inside there um, like they had little divots and then the magnets engaged then it might be a little bit harder to pop these open or if you had a hinge and a hinge would probably keep it closed a lot easier you could then take the the magnets that are in the back corners that the hinge would be on and put them up front or one extra so there'd be three instead of four instead of just on the corners um, other than that pretty nice uh, one other thing is if you get a certain um, design you have to be careful how you set set it down because it it sits uneven when you have it sitting down on top of the spider but you can set it down sideways like this or on this design here it's flat so it can actually sit down and you can also set it up like this um, what would be super awesome is if these were meant to hold dice, as if they were also dice towers. You could like pop off the side and drop dice in, have them come out the bottom. But that's getting into a completely different product. Um, as far as holding things, this is actually large enough to hold pens. So here's one of my pens that I generally use, and it can 
fit in there pretty nicely. Uh, so you can put some dice and a pen in there, or you can um, put snacks if you want to in there. Uh, definitely worth it um, if you're really heavily into role playing and you don't want something as bulky as this. Because putting this in a backpack um, can get to be a pain in the butt because you've got to put the top on it. And then you've got this big wide thing. This can actually slip down in the side by your books and everything or up in the top of your backpack where there's a little bit more room. So you can see that this actually is almost twice the thickness. So even lengthwise it doesn't hold as much dice but um, it's stylish and people are gonna stop and look at what you're doing and they're gonna want one too most likely um, let's see here oh yeah you can put it sideways like that it works but it's only one magnet <laughs> I've been trying to figure out a way that I could set it up so the lid doesn't just tip off and fall if you put it on sideways like this it works and of course if you put it on its normal way it works um, I was even looking at putting it on sideways like this but then it actually um, the magnets are set up in such a way that this bulges out into the dice tray area now if you're just carrying a couple of dice and some pencils and eraser and all that that's no problem but uh, for the most part you're either gonna have it open and there's there's a little bit of attraction here if there was another dot uh, magnet right in the middle this would probably stay together a lot better um, but on the table when you have this sitting there this is not going to part away so you can put used dice over here if you have dice pool type mechanic you put dice over here you, and uh, your unused dice on the other side um, you can also do it this way and it's going to stick together okay um, I can't let go of it but it's going to stick together all right on the table it's not going to like fall apart without being pushed purposely so you can have definitely multiple containers. I'm going to get rid of these dice because they're just rattling and making me irritated. Um, overall, very nice fit, very nice colors, very nice um, designs on there. Uh, they, they really outdid themselves with this design. You can see um, the lovely um, grain to the wood there. They, they made that pop out really, really nice. Let's see here. Do they say anything about um, the type of wood? Mm, oh, okay. This is a, a banded premium wood. So there we go. They sent me one that had uh, some really nice banding in it. And it is really nice to look at. So I will be bringing this in, in lieu of this thing from now on. Although this is very good. <coughs> um, this is uh, even better because you can put more than just dice in here you can put beads or um, little token sets or whatnot and as you can see it's got the same interior on both um, with the, the herringbone finish and it feels nice and grippy too um, you could probably put like pieces of neoprene mat down in here if you want to take a mouse pad and then cut it to fit in here you could probably put that down in to keep the, the rattling from happening too much because that's pretty loud, and if your kid gets a hold of it, it's going to make quite a racket, as you just heard. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold. So overall, um, in terms of gaming accessory, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good unit. Um, I'm not as heavy of a role player as I used to be, so getting one of these for each of my characters would sort of be pointless um, because I tend to have a lot of different characters now I'm feeling this and these these magnets are actually uh, recessed in a little bit I'd have to say about um, a millimeter maybe maybe less um, very 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 slight and ow, while the magnets are very it might be harder to pull it apart if the, the magnets were closer together. But I don't foresee the magnets ever falling out of this unless you seriously take it and bang it on your desk or whatnot. So, these are the Dragon Sheaths by Dogmite Games. There are a lot of different um, designs. I'm probably not going to put the pictures up uh, if, if you don't see them because um, I'll let you go to their web, to the Kickstarter and experience those yourself that way. <laughs> um... 
overall, I like the smell of uh, wood product, and this has a nice smell to it. Uh, it's it's got a very nice design, very nice sculpts on there, and uh, overall, this is going to be my new dice box for Magic: The Gathering. Um, I can easily set it up to to hold all my stuff, and it works wonderfully well. So I'll have a pen and uh, um, some commander damage counters and life counters and tokens because let's see here how many of these six siders can fit in here oh almost all of them almost I say because I've I've got a d20 in there let's pull this off I've got a whole mess of different d20s from little tiny ones like this guy here from Star Wars card armies to uh, slightly larger ones, to even slightly larger, and so on and so forth. Now I'm I'm just uh, getting them smoothed out so that they don't rattle around super huge mounts. And um, yeah, yep, yep. Pull out that D12. Don't need that in there. That makes things easier. All right, now let's put the lid on. Yeah. There you go, I got all those D6s from here in there. And if you open it up, you'll see that most of them are below the level of this. Uh, there's some like this that are sticking up. There's some room over here to put like another die. But uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of dice in there. And then this guy here is an entire other side of this. So flipping it over, you'll see that there's... Uh, Quite a bit of space there. I don't want to tip them because it looks like some of them will spill out just because where they are. So that's it. The Dragon Sheath by Dogmite Games. I like this side better. Go check out their Kickstarter. See if there's something there you like. And uh, see if there's some custom intern, um, internal compartments that you like better than the big dice tray that I have. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these uh, dragon sheets. Um, and uh, as always, it's Excalibur. And I am out.